Okay, so we just got to Costco. It is raining. Not, it's actually not raining too, too bad down here, but up closer to our house, it's just kind of pouring and on the highway it's pouring. So <sighs> I'm not ready to go. I want it to be just nice weather. I'm so tired of like rain and all of the freezing weather that we keep having all the time. I'm just ready for summer. I have my hoodie on to hopefully protect my hair, but I'm sure it's gonna get a little bit wet in the rain. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be sharing a Costco haul with you. I know it has been quite a while since I've shared one of these and you guys have been asking me to share another one. So it's been about two months or so since we've made it to Costco. I really needed to get a lot of things. This is maybe, probably, most likely my biggest haul I've ever, ever done there. We had to get a lot of stuff. And then I did get several non-food items which really add up, but I do feel like it is the best deal there. So I'm gonna first start with food and then we'll get into the non-food items and you guys can get your Costco haul fix. So let's get into it. All right, so the first thing I got is a bunch of bananas. I feel like this is appropriate to be the very first item that I share in this haul because I don't know if I've ever shared a haul before where I didn't have bananas in them. I do love just, of course, giving these to the kids. They eat them all the time for snacks. We also make banana ice cream. I do have a video for that if you haven't seen it. We also make banana bread and put them in smoothies all the time. So bananas are a big staple in our house. I also got some sugar snap peas. These are something that Kyle and I really like to snack on, but I especially like to get them to put them into his lunches. Sometimes Luke will eat them but usually it's me and Kyle lately. I also got some cheese slices. So this is just medium cheddar, and this is the Tillamook brand. We do really like this brand whenever we get cheese slices from there. I feel like it's a really good deal at Costco, and these are mostly going to be going on sandwiches for Kyle's lunches. I also needed to grab some butter. This is just the Kirkland brand butter, and I get the unsalted sweet cream butter. And what I actually do, because I don't feel like I go through this very quickly, is I will just take one and put it in the fridge, and then I'll take the rest of the boxes, and I will just stick them in our freezer, and then pull them out, and put them back into our fridge whenever we're ready to dethaw them. So if you want to get your butter in bulk, you can definitely do that and just freeze the rest. Saves a lot of money, and it works perfectly. The next thing I got is just some cucumbers. These are my favorite kind of cucumbers. Whatever kind of cucumbers I get, I just want to make sure they're really, really crispy and crunchy. But my favorite thing to do with these is actually to dip them in buffalo sauce. I just get the Sweet Baby Ray's buffalo sauce, but that is my favorite one. It's so good. And if you're looking for more of like a healthier snack, you can just get some cucumbers or cauliflower, dip it in buffalo sauce. So, so good. The next thing I got is just this little bag of potatoes. I want to say these are like little steamer potatoes maybe, but they're super, super good. You can just like slice them in half or quarter them depending on how big they are and then roast them in the oven. So this will be going as like a side for maybe one or two dinners like this week and next week, but they are so, so, so delicious. I also picked up a big box of hummus. This is a pack of 20 individual cups. It's actually a little bit cheaper than if you were to get it in the big tub where you have to kind of dish it out yourself. So I will sometimes put these in like Luke's lunches and it's also just really convenient for when we have our babysitter over or just for a quick lunch, you can just go ahead and put these on the kids' plates and they're already portioned out. So I went ahead and got some of these. I also got a pack of strawberries. These were just on a pretty good deal today. So I went ahead and got them. Everyone in our family loves them. So I'm sure they will not last past tonight, but they are just really good to just kind of snack on or put with dinner or something like that. I also got this big pack of pre-cooked bacon. I'm actually not really a huge bacon fan, but I picked this up one time before because I believe Kimmy from She's in Her Apron had shared it in one of her hauls 
and she just said it was like the best thing ever. So I went ahead and picked it up and she was right. It's really, really good and it's nice. You can just microwave it for a few minutes. So this will be going for like BLTs and just things like that. The next thing I grabbed is just this big bag of organic white sweet corn. I love getting our corn from Costco because I do like to get our corn organic and I feel like when you get it from Costco, it's a much better deal. And this stuff is just really sweet. You don't have to put butter or anything on it. It is just good as it is. So delicious. So I actually didn't need to get any other frozen veggies when we were at Costco. A lot of times I do, but we have several that I've gotten like on different sales at our local grocery store, just like the smaller bags. So I didn't need to get any of those at Costco today, but I did go ahead and get some frozen fruit. I always try and get my fruit from Costco for smoothies. I feel like it's always the best deal there. So the first bag that I got is this organic very berry burst. So it looks like it has, let's see, strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries. And we will of course be putting this in smoothies. I also have a berry recipe. I believe I shared this in like a cook and clean with me. I will try and link that video up here for you guys. If you haven't seen it, it's like a healthier muffin recipe. Super, super delicious. And we just use these berries that we get from Costco. So good. And I also got this bag of fruit. This is just the organic daybreak blend. So it has peaches, mangoes, strawberries, and pineapple. So we will be using this as well as the berries in our frozen smoothies super, super delicious. And especially now that the weather is like starting to get a little bit warmer again, I definitely am going to start doing more smoothies again. The next thing I got is this big pack of mangoes. So it has six really, really good sized mangoes. Oops. And this I believe was like $6.99. So these were just over a dollar each, which is a pretty good deal, especially if you're not getting them on a really good sale or something, but everyone in my family, minus Kyle, loves mangoes, so I decided to go ahead and pick some up just for snacking. The next thing I got is just this three pack of ground beef. A lot of times I end up getting ground turkey for like taco meat and things like that, but I just decided to go ahead and change it up and get some ground beef today, and I do like when we do get ground beef to go ahead and get this kind. This is just the Kirkland's organic ground beef, and it seems like it's just a much better quality than you can get from a lot of grocery stores. And I also really like that they are individually packaged like that so that I can just stick the rest in the freezer with no fuss or anything, and it is good to go, and I can pull it out whenever I need it. The next thing I got is something that we used to get quite a bit, but I honestly have not gotten this in, I don't know, like close to a year probably. So this is just the five cheese tortellini and it comes in a two pack so you just cut it in half and then one is good for one dinner and one is good for the next dinner. It's really, really nice, especially if you're looking for a really, really quick dinner. You can either toss some pesto with it or red sauce or whatever kind of sauce. You could even do like an alfredo if you want to do like a more creamy sauce. But if you are looking for a super easy dinner, this is great. You can just put some veggies on the side or even mix some veggies in. So good. The next thing I got are these eggs. So this is a really big pack. It has five dozen eggs in there. So these are going to be for like breakfast sometimes. And then I'm also going to be using some for Easter this coming weekend. And I'll also probably end up hard boiling some in my Instant Pot and then just kind of sending those with Kyle for lunch and stuff. We were also running really, really low on like snack foods. A lot of times, if you guys have watched my grocery hauls in the past, we usually try and get the kids and ourselves to kind of eat more veggies and fruits and things like that and more whole foods for just like snacking and things. But I do like to have some snacks, like snack foods on hand, like crackers and chips and things like that. Not a whole bunch, but some. And I feel like we pretty much don't have any in our house right now. So I went ahead and picked up a big bag of these organic tortilla chips. These are just the Kirkland brand. And if you have not tried these, these are so, so good. I feel like the late July ones are actually way better but those are super, super pricey, unless if you can get them on sale, which they do go on sale sometimes at Costco. But if those are not on sale, then these are a really good option. So I just went ahead and got these, we'll end up eating them with hummus or with salsa or something because they're delicious. The next thing I picked up is actually just some avocado oil. I have gotten this before, but it usually would last me a lot longer. And because of my thyroid issues, I've been kind of searching different diets and different ways of eating and different nutrients and things like that. And although I know that you need some good fats, you always hear like fats are bad for you, don't eat a lot of fats, don't eat oils, all that stuff. So for the longest time, like years and years, I would not cook with oil most of the time. Like if I was sauteing veggies, I would just saute them in water and it works great, but I found like I just needed more fat in my diet. And so I've been using this more and more 
and ours that we have is like almost gone, so I just went ahead and picked up another one. The next thing that I picked up are these pretzel crisps. So these are just, I guess the pretzel crisp company. A lot of times these will go on sale at Costco and that's when I really like to get like even maybe two of them and just kind of stash them up in the pantry and make them stretch until they go on sale again. But these are so delicious, especially with hummus. They're so good and the boys really love them. Some days we'll just have a snack lunch where we'll just like kind of get like some fruits and some of these little guys with some hummus and maybe like some turkey lunch meat or something like that. And you just kind of try and get all your food, food groups, but within like snack kind of foods. So that is what these are for. And also they will eat these for sure for snacks. I also went ahead and got some Alaskan salmon burgers. These are something, I'm the only one in the family that likes these, but I think they're so delicious. I will just cook them in a pan and I'll have them for lunch sometimes and then I just drizzle like a little bit of lemon juice on them. No other seasoning, it's so good, so delicious. And I don't usually eat them with a bun or anything. I just will put them on my plate over like, like a bed of greens or something or just with a salad on the side but this is so delicious. All right, the very last food item that I got is just this big container of baby spinach. Mostly we will end up using this for smoothies. I will just put like a banana in and like a big one or two handfuls of this at the bottom of our smoothie container and then we will blend that with some water and then I'll put the frozen fruits in after that. Something that I've shared on my channel before is actually if you don't think that you are going to use all of this before it goes bad, just stick it in a Ziploc bag and put it in your freezer, especially if you're going to be blending it up or putting it in a smoothie or something where you're not just going to be eating it like lettuce, like it is a salad or something, you can totally do that and it will work perfectly and it will just save you from having to spend more money at your local grocery store for a smaller container and it will also save you from wasting it. So that's a little trick, but I do love getting this stuff at Costco. Okay, so moving on to the non-food items that we got. You guys probably have seen, we do have a Vitamix and we use it all the time for our smoothies, but I saw that they had some attachments and so I went ahead and got this one today. This one has, it basically has like another blade that you just put on your, on your blender and then it has like two shaker bottles so it kind of makes it so that you can make individual smoothies or individual shakes and things like that and because sometimes I do that, and then I have to get the whole big thing dirty. It was just nice to go ahead and get this one. I've been eyeing it for some time, and so we just decided to go ahead and get it. And then the other attachment that I got for my Vitamix is this little guy right here. So it is just like a very small container, but I thought this would be perfect for making like small batches of salsas and things like that. She said that you can actually just chop up like some onions and things like that. So it can also kind of replace a food processor without it being kind of obnoxious because you're having to put it in the whole big smoothie container. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> but the biggest thing that I'm so excited about this one for is I used to make nut butters all the time from scratch from home, but my other food processor that I have just kind of can't hack it so well. It takes a really long time. You're constantly having to scrape down the edges. And I thought my Vitamix is definitely strong enough to do it, but I don't usually like to make big, big batches that I would need to to make it in my big blender. And so I thought this would be so perfect. Whenever we want some peanut butter, I can just put some peanuts in, blend it up, and you don't have all those extra additives. So I'm really, really excited for this little guy. I also got some baby wipes. I actually thought that these were gonna be on sale today, but it turns out I got my dates wrong, but we really needed them. So we get to pay a few extra dollars today. But these are like our very favorite baby wipes. If we could pick any baby wipes, these hands down would be them. They're more like a cloth material and they are just the Kirkland baby wipes. They're amazing. So if you need to try some baby wipes, try these ones out, they're awesome. All right, you guys are getting ready to see me do a big lifting because I'm gonna be hoisting all these items up. <laughs> we also got some more cat food. Uh, let's see, this is just nature's domain. And this is the cat food that we've been feeding the cats for a couple months and they seem to really like it. We also got some more toilet paper. We used to always just get the Kirkland brand toilet paper, but my dad had come to visit us and he brought like some really nice toilet paper <laughs> and we tried it because he had some leftover after they left. And we just decided we really, really like that stuff. It kind of made a difference for us. So this was on sale today. So we went ahead and got this one. This is the Charmin Ultra Strong. So that's what we got that for. <laughs> Okay, so we are almost done. We have only two items left. If you're still with me, I hope you guys are enjoying the haul so far. But the last two items we got, so first we got this two pack of pillows. Kyle and I always get our pillows from Costco just because I feel like you get really high quality pillows at a very discounted price as opposed to what it would cost to go 
get these quality pillows somewhere else. So our pillows are very old and we need to get some new ones. So I just went ahead and got a two pack. These are, let's see, tri -cool cooling memory fiber pillows. They feel really nice. And Kyle always is getting hot at night. I am opposite. I always am freezing constantly, but he always is getting hot. And so I thought the cooling ones could be really nice for him. And then the very last thing that we got are actually some towels. I did get two of them and we actually had just picked up some of these a while back from Costco and they are so soft and they're on sale right now. So I went ahead and got two more of them just to kind of put in our master bathroom. So now we have a set of four, but if you're looking for some new towels, I get the ones, I think they're the Charisma brand. They're so, they feel so good. All right, so that is everything that we got today. We spent a lot at Costco. I did get a lot of stuff and a lot of stock up items, especially like non-food items that were some big spenders, but we shouldn't have to buy those for several more months. So our bill was quite a bit higher than it usually is. A lot of times I try and spend like 100 to 150 when we go there. But like I said, we haven't gone in about two months and I also did get those other non-food items. So are you ready? We spent today at Costco $424.03. Yeah, crazy. I don't know if we've ever spent that much there. It was insane. I was so surprised at how much we spent, but it's just what happens sometimes. So anyway, I figured if I'm gonna come back with a Costco haul, I better make it a good one. And this was definitely a good one to share because I feel like I did get a lot of things and I did get some new things and some things that you really love. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Costco haul. Do not forget to subscribe down below if you are not already. And also head over to Instagram and follow me over there. And if you missed it, I actually shared a weekly grocery haul over on my IGTV. I've been sharing in my community tab that I've been doing some IGTV stories over there. And if you're unfamiliar with IGTV, it's almost like YouTube for Instagram, I feel but you don't even have to have an Instagram account. You can just follow the links that I have down in the description box and then also over on the community tab when I do share one. But those have been really fun videos for me to share with you guys just to share something really casual. So if you have not checked those out, I will leave that link down below. But I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you in my next one. Bye. You don't like mushrooms? Well, I do. You do? <laughs> do you have some of my mushrooms? Well, I don't want... Well, I don't like about pizzas. Oh, okay. My, my mouth is one. You'll taste one? Uh -huh. Okay, just grab one. This one one? Yep. Yep, just any of them. <laughs> you don't like the mushroom? <laughs> okay, that's all right. Good job for trying it. You want some hand sanitizer? Okay. Uh -huh. I want me daddy. Oh, you do it? Yeah. Of course. Okay, put your hand out. Our little independent boy. That's good, that's good. Perfect. Okay, now rub it all in. Now you have clean hands. <laughs> are they clean? Yeah, you did so good. These are so cool if you're wanting to organize. They are bamboo. And then it also, it also comes with this so it's like able to pull out and expand. And then it also has this big one. So, so nice. And I think that's a pretty good deal for all you get. The next thing I picked up is some chips. I also went ahead and got some. And then the very last thing that we got and then the very last It's been a while. <laughs>